I always wanted to become a librarian. Books have always saved me my life. They helped me to succeed the odds of being a child who didn't talk up to the age of five. And I, de I developed a stutter, so books were my comfort and my refuge, and I've been in love with books ever since. My name is Donald Peoples. I am from South Jamaica, Queens. I am an adult librarian at the East Flatbush branch of Brooklyn Public Library. When I became a librarian, some of the library staff would complain about, oh, this patron came to the library and he or she had this odor. And I'm like, are they kidding me? That's when I had to tell my story. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I was homeless. I didn't stink. People get their perceptions of homeless people from what they see on TV. These are the same people you were told to look down on, to look at them as the scum of the universe and undesirables. People think homeless people are bums, they're derelicts, but not really understanding the different factors of domestic violence, fires, being LGBT, being a war vet, having mental illness, just being an older adult when the pensions are running out, or job loss. In 2012, I was outsourced from an employer. I went on unemployment, and then my landlord at the time, he had wanted the apartment back, so my friend took me in. I planned three months to get myself back on my feet, but her invitation ended up lasting a year. In the final months, they were a little subtle things that Khan had told me, you're interrupting their lives. I was looking for work, but nothing came. All of my money ran out, so on May 2nd, 2014, I made that transition to the shelter world. That was on a Friday. I will never forget that. When I was in them shelters and going through all that bureaucratic tape, it felt like I was in a war. It felt like I was in the military because you got to deal with the possibilities, your stuff being taken. You may, you may have to go into a fight um, with somebody. I was afraid. I was afraid of being beaten up. I was afraid of being assaulted. But I used to come into the shelter and I was stopped, berated, yelled at by the correctional officers. It's just loud. Hey, take everything out your pocket. Da 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 da. And I'm saying to myself, what did I do? I complied. I'm complying. I'm not trying to argue. Libraries were my refuge. I needed some things to take me away from that reality. I just read most of the time. There were days in which the security guard would see me carrying five or six books. A lot of people have this perception, misperception, that some cultural groups don't read. I remember doing breakfast, I was inquiring about a Chelsea Handler book. I was just thinking I just wanted a book just so I can laugh. One of the top correctional officers, he's like, that doesn't belong to you. And I'm like, I'm just asking you a question, but it doesn't concern you. I went back down into the kitchen. I, I got the book. It still puzzled me to this day as to the resistance that he gave me about a Chelsea Handler book. I used to come here when I was a resident at the shelter as a comfort and a refuge from the everyday realities of being a homeless shelter resident. And I would always take the books back to the shelter with me to put into the bins to get the correction officers off of me. Books were my weapon against the COs and the shelter reality. When I became homeless May 2nd, I was pursuing an information and library science degree at Pratt Institute. May 16th, 2014, I went to my ceremony at Radio City Music Hall. I came back to that shelter feeling more proud than ever with my cap and gown on and my diploma. I always wanted to become a librarian and I always let the caseworker know this is my dream, even though she told me, oh, but, uh, but to be realistic, you just have to just take anything. 
And I would tell her, no, I didn't just come to the shelter to take anything. I was hired by Brooklyn Public Library in June of 2016. I just noticed the libraries are saying everyone is welcome, everyone is included in the doors, but then you see a homeless person, real or imagined, everything changes then. I wanted to educate people on dismantling the myths and the stereotypes people do have about homelessness and homeless people. I always wanted to do a program at the library. Shine On Me was a 10-week initiative, which was geared to introduce people experiencing homelessness to resources and skills for them to get back onto their feet and out of homelessness. Today will be intake. Our two social workers will be here to do the intake. So anything you want, any questions, the libraries are the vanguard for social change. There's a lot of potential for libraries to step up, to alleviate homelessness, to make homeless residents feel included without this trepidation of oh, the odor and the smell. Most importantly, I want people experiencing homelessness telling their own stories without these narrators telling the stories for themselves.